guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. We are going to be keeping the summer sunscreen train rolling because today I'm going to be sharing my top six La Roche-Posay sunscreens with you. La Roche-Posay makes some amazing sunscreens, but they also have so many options that I do think it can be really overwhelming to sift through. So my goal in making this video is to share my personal favorites out of the many that I've tried from the brand so that you can just find the best fit for your skin quickly and easily and not have to waste your own time researching. As always, we will chat through the ingredients in each of these sunscreens. I'll show you the texture of them up close and I will apply each of them to my own skin on camera. We'll do two applications so that you can see how they apply and what the finish looks like after they've had a chance to absorb and kind of sink into the skin. And if you're super into the world of sunscreen, let's say, then you may know that La Roche-Posay does have some sunscreens available internationally in places like Canada and the UK that are not available in the US called their UV immune sunscreens. Those that are super into sunscreen screen and have tested these out seem to really, really love them. So I wanted to try them. I was thinking that I would include them in this video, but I was having a really hard time finding websites that would ship those sunscreens to the U S. And then once I did, cause there was only a couple that I was able to find, I saw that shipping was really pricey. So I figured for the purpose of this video, I would just stick to the sunscreens that they have that are available in the U S I was assuming a lot of you would not be interested in paying that expensive shipping for those sunscreens. But if, enough of you are interested in me reviewing those sunscreens, I'm happy to purchase them and review them in another video for you. Y'all know I'll pay that shipping for you. So just wanted to say that that is why the UV immune sunscreens will not be in this video. If you were hoping to see them, I understand, but I have some amazing options that I'm really excited to share with you. All right. So we have a lot to chat through, but before we jump into it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already click on that notification bell and drop a comment below, letting me know if you have tried out La Roche-Posay sunscreens. Do you have a favorite or is there one that you are excited to see me review? Thank you so much for doing all of those things. It really helps to support me with the YouTube algorithm. So I appreciate you so much for doing that. And if you need anything from me, check out my description box below. I have Lightroom preset filters for editing your Instagram photos, my SPF merch, timestamps, discount codes, links to all the sunscreens that I'll be reviewing today and links to my favorite beauty products of all time. All right, let's review some La Roche-Posay sunscreens. Okay. In general, I would say that La Roche-Posay sunscreens don't have a ton of amazing ingredients for me to highlight, but the three ingredients that all of these sunscreens do have in common are vitamin E, candle tree leaf, and La Roche-Posay's thermal spring water. Candle tree leaf is a soothing anti-inflammatory plant extract that supports skin repair, and La Roche-Posay's thermal spring water is actually sourced from France. It's supposed to be a soothing water that contains minerals, trace elements, and natural antioxidants. And then vitamin E is a skin conditioning antioxidant. So some nice ingredients there, but for the sake of keeping this video rolling and not repeating those same three things six separate times for each of these sunscreens, I thought that I would just call out those ingredients here. And then if there happen to be any other ingredients worth highlighting for each individual sunscreen, I will do that when we are talking through them. All right, enough chatting. Let's dive into each sunscreen, starting off with the La Roche-Posay Anthelios AOX Daily Antioxidant Serum with Sunscreen SPF 50. This is one of the sunscreens that I showed you in a recent video where I shared my top seven favorite US sunscreen. So for those of you that have seen that video already, you know all there is to know about this sunscreen. And for those of you that have not, I will list that video below. But for the sake of this review and comparing each of these sunscreens to one another, I will chat through details again here. Like almost all of the sunscreens in this video, actually all of them except one. This is a chemical sunscreen and the active ingredients are avobenzone, homosalate, octisalate, octocrylene, and oxybenzone. And aside from the ingredients that I already chatted through, this also has vitamin C and skullcap root, which is a plant extract that has antioxidant and skin brightening properties. So a couple of extra goodies in this one right here. This is fragrance and essential oil free. Like almost all of these sunscreens, there's only one exception. So I will call that out when we get to it. And this one is not water resistant but I do have some water resistant options in this video. So if you're going to be outside on a really hot, humid day for a long period of time, maybe going on a run, a long walk, then we'll have some options available for you. And this one will not be it, but it is so, so nice. I absolutely love this. So the texture of this sunscreen, I would say is kind of like a super lightweight gel, like 
lotion. It is definitely the lightest weight option out of all the sunscreens in this video. So if you're looking for the lightest weight La Roche-Posay sunscreen, then look no further. This is it right here. It's something that does feel hydrating though, and it's not greasy whatsoever. It dries down very quickly on the skin. And once it is fully absorbed and kind of settled, it really doesn't feel like much. Yes, it's hydrating, but it's not one of those sunscreens that you can feel just sitting there, which I absolutely love. Plus it just gives you such such a beautiful, naturally glowy finish. It does definitely give you a bit of a glow, kind of that healthy glow from within look, but it's not something that looks overly wet and dewy on the skin. So if you have oily skin, I still think that it's something you would really enjoy. I just think this is a sunscreen that would work with so many different skin types and needs because it's just, it's such an unassuming sunscreen in such an amazing way. I freaking love it. Is it my favorite? I think it's my personal favorite out of this video. Next up is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Light Fluid Sunscreen SPF 60. This is also a chemical sunscreen. The active ingredients are avobenzone, homosalate, octisalate, and octocrylene. No additional inactive ingredients worth mentioning here, aside from the addition of alcohol on the label. That's not something that I typically call out, but if it's in a sunscreen like this and it's between first and third on the label, so in a pretty high amount, I do like to just mention that in case any of you have super, super dry, sensitive, irritated skin, because that may be something that irritates your skin a little bit or causes a little bit of dryness. However, in this situation, you'll see, well, I actually don't know if you're going to be able to see on camera, but when I'm talking about the feel, it doesn't necessarily translate to the formula. When I think of sunscreens that do have a high alcohol content, I think of something like the Skin Aqua sunscreen, which I just talked about in the video where I talked through my favorite Asian sunscreens. I will of course list that below. I know a lot of people are familiar with that sunscreen. That is basically traceless on the skin. Once it dries down, you can't feel it. It dries so quickly. So that's kind of what I typically expect from a sunscreen like that, that does have a lot or a higher amount of alcohol alcohol, you don't get that same exact feel here. So it just goes to show just because something is on a label does not mean you know how that sunscreen is going to perform and feel on the skin. That was a long winded explanation, but I felt like it was important to say. This is fragrance and essential oil free and is a water resistant option for up to 80 minutes. So this is one that I personally love to wear on those hot, humid days, or if I just need to slap on a sunscreen quick to go on a run outside. Not that I am not always wearing sunscreen, but slap on a water resistant sunscreen. I should say. The texture of this sunscreen is super, super liquidy and lightweight. It's definitely runnier than the AOX sunscreen. However, I do think that this has a little bit of an oily slip to it. That's the best way I can describe it. Even though I don't think it feels greasy on my skin, it does feel like there's a little bit of oil in this when you're applying it and once it has absorbed. Again, it's not something that bothers me to the point of it feeling like it's greasy, but if you do have super oily skin and you just don't like the feel of skincare like that, then this won't be for you. But even though this one feels a little bit oily, it's definitely not something that enhances the look of my oils. I think that this has a more natural finish on my skin. It maybe gives me like, a subtle glow, a little bit of a glow. It's definitely not something that looks matte, but more natural than anything, I would say. So because of that, the way that it feels and the finish on the skin, I feel like this is going to be best for you if you have normal or combination skin, because if you're super, super dry, I think that you would prefer something that's a little bit glowier, but if you're really oily, again, you just may not love the way that this feels on your skin. So a nice normal combo option here. The only thing about this one that I have never noticed before until I started filming in this new space is that I feel like for some reason there's a little tiny trace of a white cast that I pretty much only notice around the perimeter of my face, like towards my hairline. I'm not sure what it is about the lighting in this space that would enhance the look of a white cast. And again, it's not something I've ever really noticed. So in person, I'm not like, oh my gosh, this has a white cast. But when I'm filming in here, I'm like, I feel like I have to put a tinted sunscreen on top to completely get rid of that. So strange because there's no zinc in this. I'm not really sure what would be causing that, but just be aware of that. If you have super deep to dark skin, this may not be something that works for you. I would actually be curious for those of you that do have skin tones in that range, 
Have any of you tried this? How does this settle onto your skin? Let us know in the comments below. Next up, we have the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Cooling Water Lotion Sunscreen SPF 60. This is also a chemical sunscreen with avobenzone, homosalate, octisalate, octocrylene, and oxybenzone as the active ingredients. This is the only sunscreen in this video that is not technically fragrance and essential oil free. I mean, I guess it actually technically is. However, it has an ingredient in it called menthol lactate, which is an ester of menthol, which is an essential oil and lactic acid. And that's the ingredient that's supposed to give this that cooling sensation on the skin. So it is supposed to be something like pure menthol by itself that can calm and soothe the skin. But at the same time, menthol is an essential oil. So it can also be something that exacerbates sensitivity and irritation. I have seen it suggested that menthol lactate is supposed to be less irritating than just pure menthol. And of course, the amount of that ingredient present does play a role. Here it is towards the bottom of the label, but I haven't really seen any solid research or evidence to prove claims like that. So just know I'm just bringing that up so you're aware. This does not irritate my skin at all, but I just like to call those things out. And this is also one that has alcohol third on the label. Again, just so you're aware. But this is water resistant for up to 80 minutes. So it's another really nice one for outdoor activities. If it's not something that causes irritation for the skin on your face, if it does, this also makes for a really nice body sunscreen because the texture of it is just so, so, so nice. I absolutely love applying this. It's like a really nice lightweight velvety lotion. It's very soft, it's very silky. And even though it looks like it's a bit thicker, it does not feel heavy at all. It dries down very well and it ends up feeling really lightweight for me. As far as the cooling sensation, I would definitely say that it feels refreshing on my skin. I don't know that it feels like it's actually cooling down my skin, maybe a little bit, but it's subtle, which I actually prefer because then in my head, I'm like, okay, there, you know, probably isn't that much of that ingredient in there. I was wondering if this is going to make my skin feel tingly or like it's tightening and causing it to feel dry. It does not do that at all. So if you were worried about that, it's not like you're putting a plumping, cooling lip gloss all over your face. Those make my lips feel that way. Nothing like this. It just is nice and refreshing and I personally really love it. And then this one has more of a natural finish as well. Again, I get maybe a little bit of a subtle glow, but nothing over the top, just a really nice natural dry down. So if you're looking for a sunscreen that just feels really refreshing to apply and has a nice velvety soft feel while still being lightweight and not looking greasy on the skin, then this will be the one for you. Next, we have the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Melt-In Milk Sunscreen. This is an SPF 60 and the active ingredients are avobenzone, homosalate, octisalate, and octocrylene. No additional ingredients worth highlighting here, but it is fully fragrance and essential oil free. And it is also water resistant for up to 80 minutes. The consistency of this is similar to the cooling lotion because it also feels very soft and silky and velvety on the skin. It's really, really nice to apply, but it is a little bit thicker and creamier. So it ends up feeling a little bit more moisturizing than the cooling lotion. So for those of you that want a sunscreen that really gives you a nice amount of moisture, I think that you will really enjoy this because even even though it is a slightly thicker, creamier consistency, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It doesn't feel sticky or greasy or any of those gross qualities that thicker, creamier sunscreens often have. So it's super nice and it also has just a really nice, healthy, glowy finish on the skin that doesn't look shiny at all. So if you have normal to dry skin, I think that you will be obsessed with this, but I even enjoy this as someone with oily skin. If I'm just in the mood for something creamier or in the winter time, if my skin is feeling dehydrated, it's just such a nice option for a creamier lotion. And I feel like it's hard to find formulas like this that feel nice and look nice on the skin without a white cast. So good. Second to last, we have the latest launch out of all of the sunscreens in this video, and it is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios UV Correct Daily Lotion Sunscreen SPF 70. These are all such a mouthful. It's also a chemical sunscreen, and the active ingredients are avobenzone, homosalate, octisalate, and octocrylene. They did add a couple extra really nice ingredients in this, including niacinamide and panthenol, 
also some things to calm and soothe the skin. It's also fragrance and essential oil free, but this is not one that is water resistant. This feels like a very moisturizing cream and it's one that I thought was going to feel lighter weight than the Melt and Milk, but I actually think that this feels the heaviest and creamiest and most moisturizing on the skin out of all the sunscreens in this video, even though it's not something that feels heavy and greasy and gross just compared to all these options, it's definitely the thickest on the skin. So if that's what you're on the hunt for, look no further, you will really love this one. And this also definitely has the dewiest finish on the skin as well. It is something that would probably look shiny on you if you have super oily skin. If that's the case, I would go for one of the first couple options over this one. But if you have super dry skin, dehydration, you want that extra juicy look, this will be for you it delivers there. And finally, we have the tinted option for this video. This is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Light Fluid Sunscreen Tinted Mineral SPF 50. So it's obviously a mineral sunscreen. The active ingredient is 11% titanium dioxide. And that is why I personally don't use this by itself for sun protection. Titanium dioxide just doesn't offer the best protection against the longer wavelengths of UVA rays. But the reason why I wanted to include this in this video is that I think it makes for a really nice topper sunscreen. So if you're using a separate sunscreen first that offers better protection, that is untinted tinted or maybe even has a little bit of a white cast, a layer of this is really nice to conceal the look of a white cast or just help to give your skin a little bit of color and coverage if that's something that you're looking for. If you're someone like me who does not tan their face but tans their body with some self tanner, then something like this is really, really nice to just balance everything out. And an additional benefit to this sunscreen that the other sunscreens do not have is the addition of iron oxides. Iron oxides help to give us a little bit more protection against visible light. So a nice ingredient to be on the lookout for and definitely a benefit of using tinted sunscreens. This one is water resistant, but only up to 40 minutes. And this is fragrance and essential oil free. This unfortunately, like so many other tinted sunscreens from other brands, brands is the only shade that La Roche-Posay offers in this sunscreen. I am not so patiently waiting for more shade options, but you guys have heard me say that a million times. So this is something that I would consider to be a medium neutral toned tint. I have a lot of warm tone foundations and complexion products. So when I put this on the back of my hand next to those warm tone products, you can see it's definitely not nearly as orange. And I actually think that's really nice for a sunscreen like this that doesn't have any other shade options because then it's just going to suit a wider variety of undertones than something that does lean really orange or does lean really pink. With just one application. This gives you nice sheer to light coverage. I think it looks really pretty, but it is something that you can build up a little bit more if you use multiple applications. So if you just want to use a tinted sunscreen in place of a medium coverage foundation, I do think that you can build this up a little bit closer to that than maybe some other super, super sheer tinted sunscreens. Just like the untinted Anthelios light fluid sunscreen, this also has that same super liquidy runny consistency, but I feel like this one doesn't have that slightly oily slip to it. So I actually prefer the way that this one feels with one layer. I think it feels really nice. It has a really nice natural finish on the skin. So if you want to wear a really glowy sunscreen underneath, it kind of just settles nicely with that and does not mattify the look of that, but also doesn't enhance it and doesn't make your skin look shinier. So all of that is really nice, but something that I don't love about this sunscreen is the way that it reapplies with multiple layers layers on a really hot, humid day. So if you're going to be sweating and you want something that reapplies nicely, I personally would not recommend this. Oh gosh, when did I wear this? This was like years ago now. I specifically remember bringing this out on a boat day. It was really hot and I was reapplying it throughout the day and I was like, this is so disgusting. It's a little hard to describe without showing you what that looked like, but if I had to, I would just say it starts to feel heavy and gross, like the way that it meshes with sweat. And I think it looks gross too. Like it just does not look nice on the skin with a lot of reapplication. So I would not personally recommend using it in that way. But again, as a topper sunscreen on a day when it's not really hot and humid out, I think that it's really pretty. All right, you guys, those are all of my current favorite La Roche-Posay sunscreens. I really hope that you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Hopefully now when you are trying to purchase a sunscreen from this brand, you will feel less overwhelmed and just know right away 
which one is going to be the best fit for you. Keep me posted as always in the comments below, which of these sunscreens are you most interested in? If you are going to purchase any after watching this video, as always, they will be listed and linked in my description box in order of mention. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for doing those things. Your support means the world. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you would like to see from me next. Otherwise, make sure to stay tuned for my next video because that's going to be up in a few days. And until then, I hope you have a great few days. Thank you.